Hey guys, good afternoon and happy new year. This is the first video I'm filming in 2021. Super excited about that. In this video, I'm going to give you a kitchen update. So it's been about six months, oops, since my last video. And as you can see, a lot has changed. So I'm so excited to walk you through the kitchen, show you what's happening, like what we did, what we picked, um, talk about our finishes a little bit. If you didn't watch those first two videos, definitely check them out so you can see a little bit more of the before. Um, this is almost done. I wouldn't say it's the full after. We still have a little bit of things to do. I still wanna add a little bit more decor and drapery and stuff like that, but for the most part, the kitchen is basically complete, which is awesome. Also, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Paige and I will be making videos about our home reno, fashion, beauty, lifestyle, all that fun stuff. So if you wanna follow along the journey, then make sure you subscribe. Okay, enough of me rambling. Let's dive into the kitchen tour. All right, let's get started in the kitchen. So my last house update was six months ago and a lot has happened since then. In my last video, we did not have any cabinet doors nor a countertop, so I'm super excited to show you guys how it all turned out. Let's start with the island. So we did a massive long island here and we did an extended island so it turns into a table at the end. So it, rather than having your bar stools come out of the main island, we decided to do a dedicated sitting area at the end here because the kitchen is extremely long and rectangular that this made the most sense to use up all of the space. So we have here our new counter stools as well. These are from a local Kitchener company called Snugglers and we were able to customize these so we could pick the fabric, we picked the chair and we were able to pick the metal. So we picked a nice um, textured matte black which goes with our fixtures. Really happy with how those turned out. It seats four people, so we eat most of our meals right now um, at the island, and we also do lots of work here. We hang out. It's such a great place to entertain, and I'm really happy with how this all turned out. Moving on to our countertops, we chose a really nice quartz countertop, and this is from a local Kitchener company as well called Natural Stone City. And the name of this particular quartz is called Calcutta Gold. So if you're looking for something similar for your home, that's what this particular style is called. So the way that I describe this is that the base is a really nice bright white. It probably isn't showing off well in the camera right now because it's really dark outside, but it is a very nice bright white base. And then the veining, is a mixture of this nice gray and we also have the gold ribbon coming through that as well and that's why it's called calcutta gold is because we have these warm tone gold through the countertop and i absolutely am obsessed with this countertop i love it so much it's probably my favorite part of the kitchen i feel like it turned out so beautiful and it just brightened everything up so yeah, highly recommend this particular quartz. And as you can see here as well, we extended the countertop up the wall and we decided to do a little shelf feature. I'm not sure if this, there's a technical name for this style, but it is popular right now. You can find lots of inspiration on Pinterest, which is what inspired John and I personally. And we didn't want to do a traditional backsplash. We definitely wanted it to extend up the wall. It just gives it that seamless, clean look. And we decided to not do upper cabinets, as you can see, because we have a ton of lower cabinet space, which I'll show you a bit later on, but we have a ton of storage, and we thought that the upper cabinets might make it look a little bit busy, and we really like that clean, um, minimal, I guess you could say, look. So that's why we decided to opt out. And I plan on decorating this beautiful shelf with lots of art in the future. So love how that turned out. 
For our cabinet doors, we did a solid white oak, and these were custom made by a local Mennonite company, actually. And I'm so happy with how these turned out. There was a little bit of work involved because they came unfinished, so we had to do all of the hardware, like the drilling for the hinges and all that. We had to do that ourselves, and then we had to wax them ourselves as well. But you can definitely get, if you're looking for the custom IKEA door look, there are lots of companies that make custom doors for IKEA. So just do a little bit of Googling and you can find them if you are looking for something that's a little bit more unique that IKEA doesn't offer. And the reason we decided to do the IKEA boxes and the custom doors is because it's a lot cheaper to do it this way than to do either full custom or like full Ikea would have been actually around the same price as this. We have, we got a really good price. So yeah, that's why we decided to do it like this. We wanted to save a little bit of money, but also get a really unique look. For our cabinet hardware, we chose a matte black handle, and I believe these ones are from Home Depot or Lowe's, but I will link them below. And yeah, they're just your standard handle, which tie nicely into our matte black fixtures. One of my favorite features in our kitchen is our drywall hood fan. I'm so happy with how this turned out. I love the shape, um, everything about it. Drywall hood fans are really popular right now. You'll see them everywhere and you can do different shapes. You can do um, different like crown molding around them. You can make them really intricate. We just went for a really simple, clean design. And yeah, I'm so happy with how it turned out. It's such a nice, I don't know, staple feature in this kitchen. Obviously up here is where we can control everything, turn the lights on, the hood fan on, that's all hidden up here. We also have our beautiful pot filler, which took an eternity to arrive. Um, I will link them below. I'm not 100% sure of the brand because my husband, John, picked them out. Well, we picked them out together, but he purchased them. so. I will link them below, but we have a matching pot filler and a matching faucet, and they have the beautiful brass detailing, which ties into our stove here. So yeah, we have that beautiful pot filler. I've been making a lot of pasta recently, and this is obviously a game changer. It's one of those things that you don't need. It's not like a necessity to have a pot filler, but it's definitely a nice to have. For our stove, we went with a double oven. It's a gas stove. We have six burners, which is amazing. We also have a little breakfast area to make pancakes, eggs, and bacon. And the brand of this stove is Ber Bertazzoni. I could be saying that wrong, um, but I'll link the brand below. It's an Italian-made stove, stainless steel. For our faucet, we went with the matte black to match everything else. And then we have this beautiful brass detailing on the handle and the top of the faucet here. And it is a touch faucet, so you can touch anywhere on the faucet and it'll turn off and on, which is really cool. The head also detaches and the sprayer can do a single stream or like your traditional spray. And this is magnetized, which is really, really cool. For a sink, which is kind of dirty right now, we just went for a basic matte black sink to match everything. And it also contrasts really well with the white countertop. And then we also got the matching soap dispenser. For our fridge, we went with a Brigade. I think that's how you say it, the brand name. And it's a nice big stainless steel fridge with a nice classic flat design, which I think looks really cool. On the back side of the island, we also have more cabinetry, which is awesome. We store our wine glasses in here, extra plates, napkins, and all that good stuff. So we're definitely not short for cabinet space, even though we decided to forego the uppers. So right here, I have a beautiful photograph that I actually purchased while I was in San Francisco in 2018 by just a guy who had a kiosk on the street and it was taken in Italy, which I thought was really cool, in the 90s. And it's just a beautiful um, rosebush vine like creeping up a wall. But although I love this photo, I really want to do a big oil painting landscape style, probably of nature, right here. I just 
feel like that's what I want to see every time I come into my kitchen. So I haven't decided if I'm going to paint one myself or create one or sorry, or purchase one. So we'll see what happens, but I definitely want to transform the shelf here and add a little bit more color and a little bit more personality of who John and I are. Cause right now, obviously I've just cleaned. So it's perfectly clean and there's nothing on the countertops, but you know, it doesn't always look like this. Just an, a heads up. It, <laughs> it often looks like a hot mess. Another area that's a little bit of a work in progress is this bench seating area, which we'll be adding a nice comfy cushion to and lots of throw pillows. I want to do something funky and find maybe a really cool pattern and just add a little bit more personality to the space. Cause right now, obviously it's just plain. So that is definitely a work in progress. Last but not least, we have our runner, which I love. I think it complements the space so well. And this rug is from Laloy Rug. And I believe we got the three by 10 is the size, which fit absolutely perfectly here. And the color of the rug is called Charcoal Olive. So I'll make sure to link that below. There's a few different places you can buy this rug. And this particular one was purchased on Wayfair but we also ordered the same exact rug for our dining room, which is from a company called Weston, Maine, which is on its way. Super excited about that. But yeah, this is the rug. Let me do a little bit of a close up here. So as you can see, we have some nice greens. We also have some brick red and then the charcoal border. And I absolutely fell in love with this rug it's very popular actually. I've seen it all over Instagram. So I'll make sure to link that below. Thanks so much for watching the kitchen update. I hope I covered everything. If there's anything I missed or you have any questions or comments, just throw them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. My next video will be a dining room and also a living room update as well. So if that sounds interesting, Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. It'll be sooner than later, I promise. <laughs> Thanks and have an amazing day.